Hello, this is Seth Turin, and I'm here to give you a sneak peek at the new UBOT Studio version 4.0. There's a lot of changes in this, but I just want to show you a couple today. One of the most important differences is that we've gotten rid of the Choose Chosen system, whereas before you would need two commands, one to find an element on the page and the other to do some action to it. Now it's all integrated into one command. The way that we've done that is by creating a new type of node called the selector. All right, this is a selector here. You can see that it says name equals Q. So what it's saying is to find an element on the page where the name is equal to Q. And we're just going to type hello and click OK. And now we have our node set up just like we need. And if I play this, it's going to send the input. Now these nodes are generally created automatically, so it'll figure out the best way to identify the node. But there is actually an extensive language behind the selector that lets you get really detailed about exactly what you need to find. But let me show you what the real magic is. Built into the selector node is advanced artificial intelligence that can use predefined concepts to find a large number of various kinds of elements on the page. For instance, this one automatically detected that this is a username element. Likewise, if I drag this one over, it will automatically see that this is a password field. And when I click play, it's going to find those as such. But what's interesting about these is that it can find a username field or a password field on any page where such things exist. So let me give you an example. We'll go over to MySpace. And here, of course, we have an email, so let me create one of these. And it finds our email and it finds our password for us. So let's do this again. Let's go to Facebook. finds our email, finds our password. Let's go to Wicked Fire. Finds our username, finds our password. Let's go to Warrior Forum. finds our username, finds our password. <clears throat> I could do this all day long, but I think you get the point. Even without looking at the specific HTML to each of these pages, and even though every single one of these pages is completely different, the codes behind these pages are not similar in any way. UBOT Studio is still smart enough to recognize what these fields are. What this means is that you can write scripts that will apply to an entire batch of sites at a time. You can put URLs into a list if you want, along with username and password, without having to program in how to do things on each site. You can just tell it the general idea of what you want to do and build your scripts that way. But the genius of the selectors doesn't stop there. I'm going to demonstrate one more feature as I drag this login button over here. Now you'll notice that there's a concept for a login button, so it can find that using the artificial intelligence. But in addition, you see that we have this little camera button right here too. If I click that, it gives me a crosshair, and I can now select the image of the login button. And then here you see it says image equals and the picture. And I can click OK and hit run. And it's actually going to click that login button for me based on the image of it. 
and apparently it didn't like it when I clicked that, but the point is that it still worked. This uses the same technology as the Sekuli software, if you're familiar with that. One of the nice features about this, though, is that it does it entirely in the background, whereas Sekuli will need to seize control of your mouse and keyboard. UBot Studio injects everything directly into the web browser so that it never disturbs whatever else you're doing on your computer. This also has big implications for using Flash. Let me demonstrate that. Now I can go to a video here. I'm going to pause it. And I'm going to drag this just to get my selector up. And I'm going to hit my camera button. And I'm going to select this play button. Notice this is actually in a Flash application. But I can now hit OK, and if I run this, it's going to click my flash button for me. This is the only software in the world that will do this completely in the background. It will let you automate flash in a very quick and intuitive way, completely in the background. So as you can see, you're going to be able to do some pretty amazing things with UBOT 4. We put a lot of work into it, and we genuinely hope that you enjoy it as much as we do. Thank you.